the youngest champion in UFC history, Johnny Bones Jones. strikers in the UFC today, John Jones, who has been a member of Team Jackson in Albuquerque, New Mexico since 2009, and credits Mike Winklejohn for guiding the evolution of his striking game. John Jones is a very powerful wrestler with some of the most ruthless elbow strikes we've ever seen. He is an unpredictable fighter on the feet, not afraid to throw crazy spitting, high-risk shots, and he attacks from all kinds of angles. John Jones enters the octagon with his mind set on just one thing tonight, winning the UFC championship. Focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Our tale of the tape. For this light heavyweight championship fight, Cormier is eight years his elder. Jones is five inches taller. He will have a 12-inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here's the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. The action begins on referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. The moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! I'm proud for the undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a UFC new fighter, only a professional record of 22 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Indicott, New York, USA, presenting the challenger. Man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 18 wins, one loss. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed light heavyweight champion. Bad blood yesterday at the weigh-ins, and it continues here. No touch of the gloves, and it is time to get this started. You ready? Here we go! Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. One thing to keep an eye out for in this fight is the wrestling and the takedowns of John Jones. John Jones can do it all, but his wrestling is quite special. Delivered that right to the midsection of his opponent. Joe, you can hear Greg Jackson in the corner of John Jones reminding him to keep his hands up. Clean job. Now they're turning it up. Left, right. Oh, big right hand. He 
He's teeing off with some vicious shots. Oh, that one hurt him. Strong jab. Right hand. Oh, solid jab. And he's looking for that left. Cormier with a good leg kick. Oh, he completes the suplex. He's taking his back now. He's back to full mount again. He's got his back again. Half guard. And he's got it in guard. Vicious ground and pound by the challenger. Jones is looking to pass here. We're back in the half guard. He keeps busy from the bottom. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. That's a big elbow, Joe. Huge elbow. Jones is past denied. Nicely done. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying he busy. For the he got an arm. Can he get it? He's got that arm secured. He's got the elbow to the body. Very close here. Saved by the bell. That submission was tight. Daniel Cormier's still alive. Surviving a submission attempt late in that round. Come that on. was a very, very close submission attempt at the end of that round. Listen. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. Let's take a look at that from a different angle. And let's look at that again. Brittany. Round two. We continue this championship battle, and the top contender continues to display his overall improvement. He has worked his whole life for tonight's opportunity, and so far, he's really taken it to the champ. Very good job of timing these punches. Boom, right on the button. Oh, he tagged him again. Right hand forward now, switching to southpaw. Jones with the clinch. Joey's looking for some control here. He's got double underhooks. Let's go inside the numbers and check out the body strikes landing. And right oh, to nice the Muay Thai clinch. Big oh. knee! Oh, he dives into a huge haymaker. Oh! He's got the mounted crucifix. This is dangerous. Excellent movement here on the ground. Oh, big elbow. elbow. Oh. Cormier's back inside control. Joe, he can finish the fight from here. Under three now. Back on their feet. That's a big uppercut he just landed. Powerful oh, suplex. That's some wrestling right there. Oh, he got reversed. Full guard. He's moved to his back now. Come on, guys. Let's fight. Let's fight. They got to stay busy, though, Joe. Somebody's got to go for something here. 
A mouth, and the mouth. Full mouth. Not good. And again, he's back into side control. Working from the mounted crucifix. Joe, you can see the effects of the damage that he's taken tonight. His face is a mess. He's trying to pass here. He's got him in his guard. Under a minute remains in the second round. Jones going to work from guard. Into half guard again. Good elbow to the body by Jones. 30 seconds remain in the round, Joe. 20 seconds left in the round. Well done, Sweet, and winds up in guard. Gonna head to round three. We were so close in that round to seeing the champion defend his title. This top contender dug deep. He survived, and I mean that's what he did. He survived to fight another five minutes. Here's a powerful knee that lands and causes the knockdown. Let's check it out from a different angle. And here's a different angle on it. The beautiful Ariani. Here we go, third round, we ready? Let's go, And we are set for the start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five. Five minute rounds. Caught him with a punch. Fakes the takedown and lands this bomb. Straight punch. Oh, nasty right hand. He is getting off some huge punches here. Nice jab. There he is. He got the takedown. Establishes north south position. And look at this. He got out of the choke. Now he's got the mounted crucifix. Side control here again. A uh, DC can be dominant in this position. Cormier's got the double underhooks here. Back nice. and forth. He's got an over and an under here. Past the midway point of our championship fight. Good punch. Big punch. He's got a half guard here. Let's see if he looks for a knee. Under two minutes now. And right back to side control. He's got full, oh, no, nope, half guard. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Man, we have seen so many lethal body shots. It makes you wonder how he is still in this fight. Grabs a hold of the wrist. Looking for Kimura. Got the double wrist lock position. And he escaped from the Kimura. Big Huge elbow. elbow to the head. Oh, big shot from the top. Oh. oh, he sweeps. Look at his position now. Really good movement on the ground. Three rounds in the books. Daniel Cormier's cut on that cheek has really opened up. That cut on his cheek is opened up. His face is hanging off. They need to stop this fight. 
And he, there was some really good ground and pound in that round. That's why we fight these things, all right? All right, no problem. Ariani gets us set for round four. Championship rounds. Joe, they battled for three rounds, and now we move to the championship rounds. What should we look for? The championship rounds is what separates the good fighters from the great fighters, the fighters who work hard to the fighters who literally dedicate every blood, sweat, and tear drop that they have inside of their body towards victory. This is where you get to see what a fighter's really made out. That cut on Jones has really started to open up now. Great job landing a series of punches. That's a nice punch by Jones. Joey, go inside the numbers. Total strikes landed. He's in a better position here with the tie clinch. They're working hard here in the clinch. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Blocked by Daniel. Good straight punch. They are exchanging here, Mike. Ah, nice straight punch. Got that one, Joe. Daniel Cormier is continuing to punish that eye. Yes, he is. That's a good target for him. He sees the swelling, and it's going to impede his opponent's vision. That's a solid straight. Cormier gets caught with a kick. Back to over-under. Oh, that's a strong Muay Thai plum clinch. Cormier with the good knee to his leg. And right into the Muay Thai clinch. Good knee by John. Jones has got him in the plum clinch. John Jones has been on fire with these knee strikes. Here we're seeing over and over again, he's able to get that timing down and land this devastating strike. He's got the double. Brilliant job of taking the back. Petroleum looks for the choke. He drops down for it. Could he pull it off right here? That is very tight. And he got free. That was close. He's got to make some sort of attempt to get out of this guard. Swelling on his eyes is really starting to get bad. Full guard here. Nice hammer fist. He's posturing up here. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. And we have come to the end of round number four. Daniel Cormier has taken a couple more shots of that cheek. And you can really see that the cut is opened up. That cut is absolutely disgusting. They need to stop this fight. And here we see a flying submission attempt. Let's see that again from another angle. And let's take a look at that from a different camera. Ariani getting a set for the fifth and final round. Remain in this fight. The champion is in control. He has looked outstanding tonight, but the fight is still far from over. The top contender will dig deep, look to finish the fight. The champion will look to continue a dominant performance and leave with his belt. Another good strike. Joe, that was a brutal knee to the body. Hard jab. Back and forth battle. Great movement on the ground. Nice 
nicely done reversal. He's got him in his guard. Cormier goes into half guard. Now he's back into full guard. Cormier with the elbow to the body. Back to half guard. That cut on his cheek is really nasty. They may stop this fight. Really nice movement on the ground. Trying to take the back here. Side control. Nicely done. There's a big left hand. Vicious shot to the body. Side control. Nicely done. He's looking to work that mounted crucifix. Cormier with a good elbow from the top. Working for the Americano. And he got it out. Side control. He moves to the mount of crucifix. This is ugly. He's now working from side control again. He's got half guard. He's now working from side control again. Oh, Huge elbow. elbow. Back to side control. He's got him in the crucifix, and now he's really using his body weight against him. Nice transition. Tags him. They go the distance for the UFC belt. Now it's in the hands of the judges. Daniel Cormier's constant pressure should be the key to him earning the victory. Yes, his constant pressure and aggression, in my opinion, were the most successful aspects of this fight. And round three, another great, accurate shot. And here we are in round four. We see another shot landing right on target. And in the final round, excellent timing again on that strike. The decision is in, and here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the Cormier remains the UFC light heavyweight champion.